Hi, my name is Pat Skelly and I'm the CEO of ProHire Limited. I would like to welcome you to ProHire Truck TV. ProHire Truck TV is our new YouTube channel. Here on ProHire Truck TV, we will delve into subjects such as electric, electric commercial vehicles, different types of fuel, innovations that are driving change in our industry, legislations that are impacting the UK, especially with the new government's commitment to zero carbon by 2050. We will look at hot topics in the news and not forgetting reviews and road tests of vans and trucks that are currently in the market and what's going to land with us really soon. So hi guys, today on Pro High Truck TV we're very excited to be joined by the latest addition to the Pro High fleet, the Renault Kangoo ZE33. And welcome to Sunny Stoke as well, our head office. This van is Europe's best-selling and most successful small electric vehicle and since its exception initial entry into the market in late October 2011, this little zero emission motor has shifted more than 25,000 units. The vehicle we have with us today comes in three body styles. Um, it has an approximate payload of about 600 kilos depending on equipment levels and of course bear in mind this vehicle can be used for parcel delivery right the way through to temperature control and refrigeration. In our video today we aim to show this vehicle's benefits. One of the great things about the ZE33 is it has the same load space and options of equivalent diesel models. The benefits of the Renault ZE are many, however we're going to focus on a few today. The low running, low running costs of course and the, the zero emissions. It is hard to do this vehicle justice in a short broadcast. However, all of the details of this vehicle can be found on the ProBio website. In my opinion, this is an ideal urban zero emission warrior. So let's take it for a ride and see what it's all about. Hey again, just uh, managed to get into our little uh, electric vehicle now. Um, we'll take it for a run. Um, let's see what we think about it as we're going down the road. Um, start it up. Of course, no sound. Put it into drive. And off we go. Nearly. Off we go. So the great things about these electric vehicles, of course, is, is there enough sound, it's very quiet, there's, uh, you feel almost justifiably content in yourself in how green you really feel by driving these vehicles. One of the main reasons for all of you guys that are really considering the move from fossil fuel to electric vehicles is range. Range anxiety is the most common reason today not to make the move to electric vehicles. Commercial vehicles need to be used daily and often double shifted. So one of the later videos we're going to do over the next few weeks is power, battery power, battery technology and of course charging stations. So we'll keep you informed as we move forward in that way. So guys, how far do we get on single charge? Well the manufacturers are stating 75 miles in the winter operation, not great. With a range of approximately 125 miles in the summer. Still not amazing, but for a lot of companies we deal with, the range can work. We have to remember, EV is still very early in its exception into the commercial vehicle world. It's only a small part of the transport requirements of today, and only a very small part of most people's solution. On our road test with the Kangoo, we carried out one in the day and one after dark. It was carried out in December when the weather was wet, but not really minus temperatures. And for balance, we'll do another test at freezing temperatures. We managed 109 miles in the day, it's not too bad really, but that dropped to just under 100 miles at night. This was a mix of motorway and urban driving, which considering the inclement weather, not too bad. I do have to come clean myself as suffering from range anxiety, and Pro Air Truck TV will be doing another video soon on how and where we can charge our electric vehicles. So, we've now been out delivering, we need to fill up with fuel, and in this case it's electricity. Of course, with a small van like this, it's common for companies and individuals to want to charge these vehicles from home. For this to work efficiently, we need to fit a minimum of a seven kilowatt charger. This should be able to charge at about 20 miles per hour. Um, so on a, on a vehicle like this, about six hours um, for a full charge. The drawbacks you will need to pay an additional cost to have this fitted in your home or workplace. And this typically runs into several hundreds of pounds, um, currently costing in various places about 800. Uh, there are some grants available as we, as we currently are on air. Uh, again, we'll be covering this topic very shortly um, to give you some options and some ideas of where to go to. And just to give some balance, if you try to use the, the three pin plug-in charger, it could take up to 17 hours to charge this vehicle, which I'm sure is a, 
not really useful for a lot of people. Battery life and warranty. The Renault standard warranty on the Kangoo is 60 months or 60,000 miles, 100,000 kilometres, depending on the country you've purchased it. They're also estimating a loss of battery integrity up to 30% over that time. Um, this does seem less than ideal when the range on these vans is not great when new. It would also suggest, in my opinion, that that will affect the RV or residual value. Something you need to think about in, in when purchasing this type of vehicle. However, there are a good number of options out there to protect you from this, um, notwithstanding a full contract hire package that is available from our business. Uh, full details for this option are available on our website and also full specifications of this vehicle are also available. So guys, all we have to do now is charge up so we're ready for another day. So with that in mind, you just pull the flap forward, pull back the flap, take the charging end. You can't get these confused, not even I can. He's now connected to the vehicle, you see the ZE lights are on. To our charging point and on we go and pretty much that's it um, thank you see you soon thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed our latest broadcast be sure to subscribe to Pro Line Talk TV channel hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know when we've uploaded our new videos we'll see you soon thanks guys